Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dustin. Today you're going to be taking a look at Frenzy on the ColecoVision. Frenzy was a sequel to a much popular game, arcade game called Berserk, which was released in 1980, which was Frenzy released in 1982 on the ColecoVision. The Coleco this is the main reason why I wanted to own a ColecoVision was basically because of this video game. I saw uh, a documentary called Chasing the Ghost, which is very well done. Uh, featuring the Twin Galaxies guys, and they were talking about Berserk, and through uh, association, I saw Frenzy, and Fr I'm so glad I did, because Frenzy, it's a very cool and very unique video game. I've never played a video game like it before in my life, and it's awesome, concerning it's from 1982. It's very well done, and really cool, too. Basically, the, the story is here, is that they're almost, I, I, from what I can tell, there is no story that you're a humid, and you're stuck, you're stuck, you're stuck, and you try to escape, but basically it's a never-ending video game. You, tra you travel from, from one room to the next while shooting evil robots, the skeletons and the tanks there, and without getting killed. Frenzy has really fun and unique gameplay. And basically, when you're dumped into a room, there are two different things you have to do. You have to take out the robots without dying, as well as try to plan your escape. And if you sit in the room for too long, Evil Auto comes out. <laughs> As you can see there, uh, Big Evil Auto was about to send four Evil Autos at me because I killed uh, Evil Auto. Evil Auto is the uh, is a robot who is programmed to come out and kill you if you remain in a room for too long. The scary thing about Evil Auto is that he has a smiley face and uh, he's gonna murder you. Like I was saying before, Frenzy is the follow-up sequel to Berserk, and Berserk is also very cool. Uh, they're very similar, but they're also very different at the same time, whereas Berserk, well, every single wall is electrified, and you can't touch a wall. You can also touch an enemy, you die, but on, the, on Frenzy here, you can touch an enemy, you can touch well, most of the walls anyway, and not die. But you also can shoot those dotted line walls, and uh, you have to plan your escape, and here I'm kind of screwed, I run into a wall and die, but... Uh, like I said, I'm Berserk, run into the walls, and you can actually have the enemies run into the walls and die, but since on most of these levels, uh, the walls, I, I don't believe they're electrified, so you can touch them and not die. Whereas on this one, you can shoot those walls there and deflect the bullets, and the bullets ball bounce around and kill, you most of the time end up killing them, but sometimes killing yourself if you're not uh, careful here. It's a very challenging game, it's a lot harder than Berserk, you can respect that. Sometimes you're dumped into a level, right into a pile of uh, robots, killer robots, and uh, <laughs> you end up dying right away. But uh, yeah, like on Berserk, it's funny on Berserk though, it's, it's very cool, it, it talks to you. You can see there, I killed myself by the way, but anyway, on Berserk it talks to you, it calls you a chicken and things like that. But on Frenzy, the, uh, the robots here are very mum, they don't talk, which is fine with me because it I think it adds to the... Uh, the amb the amb ambience of the game. You, know, you have you have <laughs> evil Otto, your nemesis there. He, see, look at he's coming out. He's trying to kill you, but he's still smiling. It's all cool. Well, he's not smiling now anyway. <laughs> the funny thing is, if you shoot evil Otto enough, he starts coming in faster and faster, <laughs> and eventually he just squashes to death. So, <laughs> but yeah, again, I highly recommend this game to anybody who likes anything old school. Uh, the ColecoVision, in my opinion, is a fantastic system. The only uh, caveat about that whole system is the controllers could be a little bit better, but if you own a six-button Sega Genesis or a three-button Sega Genesis, for that matter, you can always plug it in and play it. But uh, you always got to make sure you keep that ColecoVision, other ColecoVision controller handy because you're going to have to eventually select uh, different options and things like that. And Sega Genesis uh, controller isn't, you know, there's no one button on the Sega Genesis controller, but... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool system. There's not a whole lot of games, but you know, since the, uh, from what I understand, the video game crash uh, kind of killed a lot of systems here. And ColecoVision, as far as I can tell, was one of its, uh, uh, one of its victims, which is too bad because I love the ColecoVision. It's pretty cool. And I'm actually, I like I said earlier that uh, Jay, the classic gamer, sent me one, but I'm still working on it. So one day I'll get it up and running, and it'll look uh, absolutely fantastic and stellar. So guys, it uh, looks like I'm nearing the end of the video. Again, this is uh, Frenzy on the ColecoVision. Uh, go check it out. It's a fantastic game. If you find a copy, <laughs> definitely buy it. It's, it's so much fun. So guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. I'm Dustin. Have a good day. Bye-bye.